Before we proceed with modeling the next piece, some features I would like you to make use of that are useful here in 3ds Max, such as the uh, constraint to edge while moving the vertices. So as you can see here, this these fins are spaced more than the ones we have here in the uh, original photo. I here I here have got these small spaces, not large like this one. So how can we fix this? Let's change first to front view. Let's select the cylinder. Right click and hide it. Hide selection. Now from modifier, let's turn off the turbo smooth and work on the editable body. What we need to do, we need to change selection to vertex and I will select this bunch of vertices that represent this fan. Let's try to move it. If we try to move it like this, that's what we get. They don't move it on one axis, they move it on they move on both axes, which can deform the whole shape. So what I need to do, I need to get rid of these fins and then work on constraints. You can see here the constraints. You have none, edges, faces, and normals. You will work on edges. But we can't work with these fins still available, so I need to delete these fins. I will work on the right side, then I will pause the video and finish it on the uh, other side. And press delete. Now what we need to do, we need to change to border mode, select, with control, these five borders, and here we need to grow selection. Actually, we need to get rid of this first. So press delete and get back to border mode. because that one had extra segment and I believe the same for this. Grow, control, polygon, and get rid of it. And we forgot to delete this guy. Press F so you can see from the front view. Grow, now press delete. So now we can work on Border mode, select with control for multiple selection, the five borders, and use cap. Now we closed it. What we can do, we can create cuts so everything works fine for these uh, vertices, but of course I prefer to use cut with uh, the uh, vertex mode, so I can connect vertices to each other. So you click and then right click to deactivate. You grab the point, left click, then right click. Using the, uh, the cut tool requires more practice. Same for here. Click. Oh, we forgot to, to close this border. We need to cap it first. Get back to vertex. Right click and cut.
need to do it here too that's the third trim I guess I can pause the video and finish these two then create the necessary cuts and come back to you now as you can see I finished making the cuts but still we need to make sure of something we need to make sure we don't have double vertices so we select the vertices that we created the uh, cut for and we make sure that it has one number here here it tells me vertex 18 is selected same for this one same for this but if I select two of course these two are apart but it tells me two vertices are selected because that will affect uh, the way you drag the vertex so that's it for this side let's get back to front view and now as I told you I need to push or move these vertices while activating the constraints so I drag this down and I will use constraints to edges so when I move them like this this is what happened they move through the edges I actually need to set them apart like this same for this I'll take this group push it down in this one so I can have more roundness here I need this to go down and this down and that final group here I don't need this one let's push it down so the roundness doesn't change now we need five sides that will be the one in the middle and I like this space so I make the corresponding one same with the same space something like this now I need to take this maybe I can make use of loop This guy needs to be shifted and of course this one I need only two on this side so I won't be worried where to position this so this is fine and this two is fine let's do the same here I need to move this but first let me take this up so it won't make a problem with me now I need to have similar space for this so let me drag him up just like this now I have these five rings here what I need to do I need to get back the edge mode select these five edges and now I use chamfer with the same value we used last time 0.7 press ok now I need to get back to polygon mode
maybe we need to change and then press so I can deselect oops I need to change the constraint first let's make it none and then I would like to select this loop actually uh, as I remember from the last time we didn't take all the loop just this part here so just those faces this one this last piece now we have two we need that third one and the last fin I guess I selected all of them now I get back to front view then I use the extrude and set it the same as 10 press ok but, but I, I think I would like to make it 5 then press add to make another 5 and press ok so let's get back to turbo smooth turn it on to see what swift loop changes we would like to do here we will do as we did before we create these cuts here down and of course I need one in this upper I have five fins from the side and as you see we made the spaces less than the one before I will finish the other side and get back to you now as you can see I did the same for that side and I will deactivate the swift loop so now we have these fin closer, closer to each other so what we need to do next we need to make the other uh, piece unhidden so we click on unhide all and that's what we get let's continue to model the base in the next lesson we will model the base the piece here beneath the base for the uh, water pump so continue with me